channel my name is Shay Faith if you are new here if you are a new watcher go ahead and subscribe to my channel and join the Luxie family and if you are a returning watcher thank you for coming back and thank you for supporting me and my channel we have hit 500 subscribers you all and I am so freaking happy like it's taking so long but I thought it would be faster than this but YouTube is definitely definitely like a marathon and it's a journey but i'm not giving up and i'm gonna keep going so please stay here with me back into the swing of things of recording and putting out content and just trying to get some new ideas and actually try like the trendy videos and like the routine videos and just more lifestyle content hence why i changed my channel from luxury taste to just my name shay faith um most of my content will still be based on luxury because that is like a big part of my lifestyle that i want to incorporate so yes i'll be also doing more of like my aesthetic work i don't know how yet but i want to incorporate that into my channel and then also like maybe like some cooking maybe like some motherhood content so just stay tuned um hopefully i can get creative enough and express myself in this way because it's always, it's always so inspiring seeing all the girls do they think on youtube so yes just stay here with me thank you for joining in on my journey and we are halfway there so let's get into the video today this is the key clay like i said of course i use this every day multiple times a day because my keys are in here like you know unlocking the door unlocking my car this is this gets used every every day multiple times a day and so far the biggest thing i have noticed is just the hardware it's like the metal is like rubbing off like because of like the metals and the friction and i guess like the excessive like rubbing back and forth right here the metal is um like discolored and like coming off and this is my first time realizing that it's not like gold or anything which i guess will be a little bit excessive but it's like either painted or brush gold and it's like turning colors and i haven't gotten this wet or anything it's basically like tarnishing and then scratching and then right here it's just like a big big chip that has came off hopefully that will be able to focus but like a big chip of the paint has came off right there and on the button this button that clicks inside looks pretty well still but this one of course this has scratches on it which i kind of you know i'm not too like worried about well i wasn't too worried about this part because this is the part that of course is going to hit the most in like your bags or like just the counter or like the door this is the part that will probably get scratched the most but it's actually not that bad it has some scratches of course but it has started to tarnish um just a little bit in the middle here i wish i had one of them super big um lenses to pick up on this because i really want y'all to see this if you're considering buying these things like i want you to be i want you to be aware of like how they last so um as far as the leather and the stitching goes it's fine oh i like what would this part be called like the lining or like this part right here it is like kind of peeling yes yeah, definitely have peels so i really am curious now to how long this will last like this won't last me like 10 years i feel like it's gonna be so beat up but this is an everyday use item so i'm like i guess i don't know how to really feel and then like right here on this part of the leather it's kind of indented from being bent but i don't know y'all like how 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 would you guys feel because I know that's why you buy these pieces for them to last but with everyday use you can't expect something to stay perfect for a long period of time the leather is kind of like it has like black dots or i don't know what to call that or like what that is it's kind of like it's not dirty but it's kind of just like the metal is kind of rubbing up against the leather so it kind of looks like little tiny black dots all over this <sighs> now that i'm sitting here inspecting this i'm like trash <laughs> But it's definitely not trash, y'all. I use this every day, all day. So I guess that's the biggest difference. Um, it's not really bothering me yet. It's held up pretty well. And of course, um, also like on this part of the key rings, like at the bottom where it touches the keys and like the fob and everything, it's a little tarnished and brushed off. Um, 
but the stitching is all still good just the lining is messed up and um my hot stamp actually i got this recently in store so i'm kind of curious to see how that will last i got that done maybe a month ago like october and it is november so just over a month this has been there and it's kind of like scratched off a little bit in the, in the middle of the letters just a tiny bit but the lady that did my hot stamp she told me that this is kind of the shiny letters the uh, so the lady that did my stamp at the store she told me that the gold shiny letters or like the metallic ones last a little a little bit better than the other options that they have so that's why i got this one and it just matches the gold so i don't know i guess out of a rate of a one through ten i would say like the wear on this is probably like a seven but it's with everyday use i guess i would love for this part to not be peeling like i feel like that is a little excessive for the price for what they claim like you know to be a luxury brand i feel like that's a little bit excessive the metal i feel like you can't really get around scratching the the metal that's my thing i've had this for eight months it has not been a year yet it's kind of beat up around around the metal um parts of it but like i said i would have to give it a now that it's only been eight months and not even a year i would probably have to give it a six out of ten just because i would feel like i would want the metal to not be as messed up as, as it is because it's pretty it's looking a little janky for eight months so key clay i think i got around january or february i think it was the end of january like january 28th um 2021 so this one is closer to a year than the um key fob and like i said this is one of my everyday use items also because this is like my wallet since i carry smaller handbags um and this is the this is the amount of cards that i had in there like not very many i used to carry more but i took it out but um <clears throat> this one is probably a little bit closer to a year so probably about nine to ten months for this item and i didn't find myself using this very often i had this stored inside for the majority majority of the time so the biggest thing with this is the same um complaint i have about the key ring holder is that just like the hardware is like is damaged like it the paint is coming off i really wish i had a bigger lens so this could show up like perfectly but like right along here it is like rubbed off and on here it's even kind of starting to like be chipped on the pool and even the zipper it's just it just looks tarnished and not even scratched it looks tarnished like it's the paint is coming off versus like or changing colors versus them being scratched like it's not even scratched it's the the color of the metal is changing and like i said this is scratched but the um like the corners of this is a little bit um tarnished and rubbed off but the leather is good on this one this one doesn't have any issues with the lining um but and the stitches is all there but this is another item that i use every day um literally every day because i pull this out when i go to the store i pull it out for when i like need to purchase something or look at my card numbers or like in switching my cards out i have not even used anything else in the time that i've had this so i would say like this is a very very good little compact card case i love this size like i, I don't even want the little keychain on there because i just like this as a key holder i mean um card holder and a wallet and it fits in everything perfectly because it's so small and compact so i really do like this item let me know if you have these two items and how they have worn and lasted for you i want to know i'm curious i need to go do some more research and look up other videos i've done a few in the i feel like the most thing i've always seen was like just the leather losing its shape and stuff like that but like i said let me know down in the comments thank you for watching go ahead and subscribe to my channel and look out for my next video guys i'll see you next time